Right, so <clears throat> just had a break and now I've come back and I'm going to take an overview. So I stand right back and look, do this with my eyes. I squint my eyes down, try not to frown, don't need any more wrinkles. And then by doing that, you just, you can't see the detail. Just do that. And when you can't see the detail, you just see the bits that need darkening or kept light at this stage. That's what I'm going to do now. So I've done a bit of it, so I've kind of just stepped right back here, get my eyes squinted down, I can see it's a bit darker here, see? There's a light bit there. I've just been using my stick for this because you can't get into the detail with a stick. It's, um, it's, it's just better for this kind of thing. You can get a lot of colour on quite quickly. I like this little stick. It's great. So you can see it's a lot darker in there. And then you've got the light under there. We'll leave that there. Then it's kind of darker in here, so just put a bit in there. That's dark there. See, so you just kind of do that all over it. I can see that needs to be darker there somewhere. And because I can't see the detail, because I've got my eyes screwed down, uh, I can just see it needs to be darker there. This is a really easy way of taking an overview without getting bogged down again and getting carried away with detail. You don't want to be doing that at this point. You know, you can put all the details in if you want to after. This needs to be darker in here, see? Some nice little marks coming down. Much darker. And through there. This needs to be darker in here. See, I can, just, can see it's, it's really obvious when you screw, when you stand right back. Um, I'm really standing back here. You know, usually I'm, I'm kind of like this, really up close, but I'm really standing well back. You probably can't see that, but. Over, I think it's a good plan. You can leave little bits in there of the creamy colour. Um, just put it on unevenly so that you don't get them all in a uniform, exactly the same colour. in there. That's far too light there. It's not right at all. That needs to be black. So we'll do that. Do that bit. Next I think. Could be a bit darker there. Okay. Right. That's good with that colour at the moment I think. I think we've captured everything. Got some nice flicky bits in here. Just having a quick check over. Yeah, 
There, we'll put some more in here. Because that's quite a strong line, isn't it? There. Very much so. Very important, that line. That's pretty good. That's just right. We've got some darkness here. And here. That. Now I'm gonna with the black I'm going to um just wipe my hands off I think. Yeah, so mm. that's better. Um so with the black now I'm just gonna put those black bits in that we've I've left out. I need to go in now. I'll do that right now. marks in. We can keep some of those. They're not too bad. It's just that it needs to be a lot blacker. And that is just a tiny little line there. I have to take it out. That's that. Colour. So, let me put this 
fleck. It's that. And I've got a fleck coming across there. That could be that bit. So I'm just literally just copying what I'm seeing here, kind of, just getting the hairs going in the right direction, which is much more important than um, copying every strand. Just make sure the hairs are going in the right directions, and it'll, it'll look good. But it certainly doesn't need to be neat. Because this dog isn't a neat looking dog. Just making a nice bit thinner, also a bit messy looking, which is really what it needs. 